Hello IP Exchange community, we are here again at CES where we are actually going to talk about something that is absolutely groundbreaking. So I'm going to introduce you to Mike Householder who's from a company called XMEMS Labs and they're going to explain to us how they have taken what we perceive as being a traditional technology called speakers and how they've turned that into silicon so now you actually are able to have buds that are silicon based which is the first time that that's been able to be done in the world. So Mike, explain to us what you've actually done. Yeah, thanks, Guy. Yeah, so what uh, XMEMS has created is uh, the world's first all silicon speaker. So it's a so we're moving the speaker from a mechanical, century-old yep. coil and magnet architecture into a solid-state semiconductor process. So you now have a chip that is producing sound for our ears. Yeah. Uh, target market is personal audio, so wireless earbuds wired earbuds, headphones, personal audio space is yeah. where we're focused. So what you're saying to us is that from for the last 50 years, for instance, speaker technology that would have been however big, it's got smaller, it's got smaller, the, the technology itself has just been miniaturized down, but actually from a mechanical point of view, it's never changed. Correct. So for the past century, <laughs> for the past century, whether, whether big speaker or small speaker, it's a coil, it's a magnet, it's some framing and suspension, and a paper or plastic diaphragm. Right. That hasn't changed. That's all our ears have ever heard our entire lives. Right. And now it's changing to a chip. Right. And for one of just a simple question, what is the benefit of that? So benefits are many. Um, so in general, there's a natural gravitational pull to solid state technology and consumer electronics. Many, many examples. Uh, on the other side of the audio spectrum, we have the MEMS microphone. Microphones are already solid state. Yep. If we think about computer storage, we've gone from a mechanical spinning hard drive yep. to a solid state drive. Yep. So why does all this happen? Because uh, solid state uh, solutions are generally uh, more robust, more uniform, easier to scale. Yep. Uh, in the case of a lot of these technologies, they operate faster, uh, so you're getting speed performance and reliability by moving to a solid state process. Now specific to a speaker, um, the benefits are many. We break this into benefits to the manufacturer and benefits to the consumer. Yeah. Benefits to the manufacturer, you get a product that's more reliable, less field returns, more consistent, so less yeah. test and calibration on your line. Yeah, absolutely. Benefit to the consumer is you're getting faster transient response, which means better audio, cleaner audio, higher fidelity, so just better sound. Right, and why does MEMS, I, I, I totally understand the, the, the manufacturing size, so from the first one to the millionth one, it's gonna be the same, it's exactly. gonna be reliable. So as a manufacturer, massive benefits. Mm -hmm. Explain why sound is better using MEM, uh, that, 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 that's the fascinating bit. Yeah. So that's something that's been doing the same job for a hundred years, you've gone, I can make that sound better using MEMS. So what's going on, with that, we don't need to dive into deep, deep technology, Sure. but what's going on that makes that better than something that's just been miniaturized over a hundred years? Yep, so best way to simplify, uh, I'll give you three, three examples. So, yep. so one is really speed. So when you've got dynamic content, you've got voices, voices layered, layered in, you've got instruments layered in, you want, you, if you want detail and separation, you need speed. Right. So the mechanical response of our solid state speaker is about 150 times faster than a legacy coil speaker. So that speed will render detail. Yes. Um, Which probably isn't obvious, but is subtle, but is definite. Yep. So whenever customers listen to our product or evaluate our product for the first time, we just say, we just say, pick your favorite song. That song you've listened to a hundred times that yep. you think you know backwards and forwards, guarantee you, you will hear a detail in that song that you've never heard before because the speed will render every little detail in the original recording that is sometimes masked right. by a slower mechanical speaker. Right, right. You said the one, what, what were the other, you said there were three others. Yeah, so the next one is really a materials advantage. Um, most micro speakers in our earbuds are paper or plastic diaphragm. Yeah. And what you want out of a speaker diaphragm is something stiff, rigid, and lightweight. Yeah, and that don't break. 
Exactly. I mean, I don't know how many buds I've gone through. Yep. I've, uh, 20, 30. Yep. So the diaphragm in most speakers is paper or plastic, which when you drive it really hard, uh, goes nonlinear. Parts of it go up, parts of it go down, and that muddies the audio. Silicon is our speaker diaphragm because it's a chip. Yep. Silicon is 95 times more stiff and rigid than paper or plastic. So when you drive it really hard, that diaphragm stays linear. Linearity brings you cleaner, crisper music. Right, right. And then the third is all about phase. So you're trying to match a left and a right earbud. You want speakers that are perfectly phase matched. So this right. is going to give you <laughs> just more accurate reproduction, but it's also from a spatial perspective going to give you a better sense of space. So perfectly phase matched, uniform silicon speakers are always going to outperform a highly variable mechanical legacy speaker yeah and that's just purely because of the manufacturing process exactly just purely because it is more reliable more robust and therefore is more likely i've not heard this word phase uh, phase but to, for the two sides to be to be synced together doing yeah. the same things together yeah. because of the reliability in the manufacturing yeah but it's the uniformity of the semiconductor process that you don't yeah. get from assembling a mechanical speaker so all those the, the phase benefits are really in the time domain. Most people in audio talk about frequency response and frequency domain. The time domain benefits are, obvious, are typically ignored, and that's, that's where we really shine. Right. So why on earth would anybody ever not, <laughs> not use one of your men speakers? <laughs> so, I mean, I'm just sitting there going, this is just a complete, this is just a complete change of the technology that we're not going back on. Yeah, exactly. And again, it comes back to that natural gravitational pull. They, they want solid state. Yeah. Um, and we've delivered the quality, we've delivered the, the reliability and, and, and the sound. Um, so it's, it's a natural progression. So we have devices today. So if we're talking about the, the core of the market, which is active noise canceling, wireless earbuds, um, the active noise canceling is, is the key because that has even more de higher demands on a speaker. Right. So uh, the t today's products that are launching the market with XMEMS, it's a, it's a two-way approach. You're using a legacy speaker, which is capable of delivering that low frequency for the noise cancellation, yeah. but is falling short on the mid-range and the high frequency clarity. Right. And is that done in software? No, no. no. Well, the, the ANC is done in software. Right. But basically, what the products coming to market now with our speakers are a two-way approach. So it's a hybrid legacy coil speaker with a MEM speaker doing the mids and the highs. So you're getting that mid-range and, and treble clarity from the MEMS while the legacy speaker is still doing the noise cancelling at the low end. I see. But so you do have the two things sitting together? Correct, coaxially, so they're just right. stacked on top of each other. Okay. So that's kind of, we'll just call this phase one. That's Those are the products coming to market today, kind of tiptoeing into MEMS. The next step is a product that we announced in November called Cyprus. Cypress basically will replace that coil speaker because now we'll have the low end uh, drive and frequency to do noise cancelling, produce all the deep bass that you want, and then all of those brilliant um, uh, mids and highs. Right. So um, it's a natural progression towards an all solid state wireless earbud. Yeah. So technologically, this is obvious. This is a slam dunk. This is just no. No, no reason why you're ever going to go, 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 going to go back. Financially, where do you sit in terms of cost? Yes. What? So today, today we're if, if you compare us to a, a dynamic drive speaker, um, we're a slight price premium today. Um, and natural semiconductor dynamics that that price gap will continue to, to narrow over time. Um, you know, if we look at an analogy here, the other side of the audio spectrum, the MEMS microphone. When MEMS microphones came to market, they were also at a price premium to their legacy mechanical variant. Um, and even today, 20 years later, after the first MEMS microphone, there's still a, a narrow price premium versus the mechanical variant, yet they dominate unit volumes. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yes, there is a, a price gap today that is acceptable because we have large consumer brands coming to market with our technologies at very attractive hundred and thirty hundred and fifty dollar price points for earbuds yeah right in the mainstream consumer wheelhouse yeah yep. so we're obviously very price competitive and again semiconductor dynamics the volume goes up that price gap will narrow but they don't break 
and they don't break. <laughs> <laughs> so you just got some examples here, just 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 for fun. Show us some here. Obviously, there's no point in listening to them because they'd be in my ear. That would be silly. Uh, but so, so, so this is one of the brands that has got your... So, so this isn't made up. That's there. That really exists. You can buy that today. Absolutely. So uh, this came to market in December uh, from Creative, uh, Creative Labs. Uh, Very cool uh, packaging. Well, well-known, well-respected yeah. name in, yeah. in both uh, PC, gaming, and, and personal audio. Uh, they really saw the the innovation possible with uh, with the mem speaker so they've launched two pairs of earbuds the arvana ace and ace 2 uh, these went on for sale uh, in december and uh, so they're available for sale worldwide uh, x mems is featured prominently in, in some, of the, on some yeah. of the branding of yeah, the product very cool but these are a, a two-way true wireless stereo earbud with active noise cancellation they sound fantastic yeah. and they'll, they'll they'll punch well above their weight and be, beat most anything on the market right right Brilliant. Um, well, all I can say, Mike, is uh, we have done nearly 50 videos at CES. Everybody tells us they're doing something brand new. Everybody tells us they're doing something that changes the world. Uh, I think this is the one interview that I can absolutely guarantee our community, you've changed the world. <laughs> Thank you very much, Guy. Very good interview. Thank you very much. Yeah, appreciate it. Hey, where my engineers at?